Now, here's a good one about a husband who's handling things just right upon discovering that his wife of six years is having an emotional affair. Emotional affair, sending spicy content, all sorts of stuff you guys can imagine, and he's done. But of course, she is begging and pleading, you know, for a second chance. I've been going to go over here, guys. You can't tolerate this crap, and she's doing it now. She's going to do it again. Move on. Titled, Am I the a-hole for calling divorce immediately after finding out my wife emotionally cheated on me? Says here, I found out my wife was cheating on me emotionally last week. I found through a notification when she was in the shower. We're both 33 years old and have been married for six years. How many stories have I done where it's the wife's in the shower? You know, the notification's going off there. I mean, uh, I'm surprised these women aren't keep bringing the phones in the shower with them. In my eyes, everything was good. Funny how one can hide their betrayal without any other party noticing. I confronted her right away and told her to open the phone to show me the messages. Good for him. This guy's obviously not a shrinking violet. She refused first, but gave up after I told her we were getting a divorce. The texts were not that old, and there were not many. It was obvious most of the texts were deleted. I asked her questions about the affair, who, about why, who, where, and how. Well, you can ask all those important questions. It doesn't mean you're going to get the answers. I will not go into details as I want to stay anonymous, but I was trickled truth in the end. She got caught and trickled truth me. I do not believe her and what she said about the extent that they went. Of course he got the trickle truth. That's how it works. And there's no way he didn't get the full story. I'm willing to bet you probably a lot more than emotional was going on. Uh, but at the beginning of our relationship, I made it very clear that cheating in any form is a relationship ender. I told her to get a lawyer because we were getting divorced. She asked for marriage counseling, promised to change, and even make her life completely dependent on me leave the job, not leave the house, and give me all her digital devices. All is right out of the Hobag handbook. You think a guy wants to be living with someone like this? No. I'm not going to be checking your phone all the time. I'm not, I don't want you to not work because I want to have some of your income coming in and make my life a little easier. What a great deal for her. The bag and the plea, and she knew in advance. This is a deal breaker. And just a relationship ender. She didn't care. I told her <clears throat> where marriage counsel. Uh, I told her where marriage counseling would have helped was before she decided to have an affair. We could uh, go to marriage counseling and solve the problem there by talking about whatever problem she had. Instead, she went on to have an emotional affair and made sure to actively hide things from me by deleting texts and trickle truthing. I reminded her about my boundaries and what I told her about them in the beginning of our relationship. She didn't care. In her mind, she's like. Pfft. Whatever. I'm so hot. I'm so amazing. If I get caught, I can just cry and beg and promise. And just like every other guy I've known, he'll take me back. Nope, not this guy. I will hand the divorce uh, papers to her this month, and she's telling me to reconsider. Am I the a-hole in the situation? No, bro. You're handling this just right. I'm sorry it's happening to you, but no. If you stay with her, then you are the a-hole here. Because all you're going to do is communicate to her. She can pull this crap and you'll take her back. All she has to beg and plead and promise. And again, you didn't get the full story here. Now the update. He says, it is a 100% divorce now. Awesome. I think I was looking to relax and validate my logic with that post. Love is there, but trust is broken. My heart told me to have a hope. But my logic told me to divorce. Logic won in the end. Well, thank God for that, because usually the, for most people, emotions take over because they start remembering the, the good old days and maybe she can change or maybe there's something I did wrong. No, this guy knows better. It has been over a week now and I still do not get the full information about the affair. Brother, don't waste your time. You're never going to get the full story. Last night and this morning, after the post, I came to learn information about the affair. I'm still not sure if it's the full extent. To clarify the emotional affair part, they sexted, sent news to each other, and there were lots of I love you's involved. It's not cheating, I know, but but what is? Uh, but, but what is what it is? Um, just cheating to me. Her talking to some other dude repeatedly and telling him they love each other and sending uh, spicy content, that's cheating in my book. Whatever, I still do not know the full truth, and she refuses to disclose who exactly the affair partner is. My trust level for her is so low that she could say the sky's blue, and I would doubt it. I wouldn't believe anything she says. For all you know, she could be hooking up with your best friend. You never know. Or her boss. Or your brother. She's not going to disclose it. This relationship is just over dead. 
I will go ahead with the divorce as soon as possible so I can put I can process my feelings alone after she leaves. Some people some people told me, listen to this. Some people told me I would not be able to find anyone at 33 years old as a male. This is the last thing I worry about after divorce. First thing is to get over the relationship and put myself together better than ever. I'm planning to start individual therapy right after I sort things out. I can date after that easily. Maybe, uh, unless he mixed something up, a guy having a hard time finding somebody after 33 years old, this isn't 400 years ago where a lot of people lived to be in their 40s. 33 years old, that's got when a guy's prime begins. When he's starting to earn more, he's got some more life experience, et cetera, et cetera. As long as he takes care of himself physically and all that, doesn't look like a slob all the time, can hold up a conversation, he's a catch. End of story. The problem after 33 is going to be her. Sure, she can get guys that want to pork her. That's not going to be a problem. She's good looking. But to the older she gets in terms of a, a deep relationship, because the guys that they usually want, they're going to go for younger women. End of story. And it's funny how you have a lot of gals that think that they, uh, they're, they're, they're all that. As that saying used to be back when I was younger. It's like, it's not you're not all that because guys want to bang you. If the guys actually want to commit to you, that can make, make you more all that. And the older they get, so this is complete nonsense. They're just trying to, there's probably mutual friends or friends of hers trying to get, scare him from divorcing her. So good for him. That's how you need to handle it, guys. This is unfortunate it happened here, but... A few comments, I'm going to wrap this up. One guy says here, not the a-hole. The trickle truth is the problem that makes re reconciliation a non-starter. You can't trust her. All the things she's willing to do are now uh, band-aids. Who wants to be married to someone who can't have a life outside of you because they may cheat again? She made her choice. Don't let her drag out the inevitable. Exactly. You can't have a relationship without trust, gentlemen. Another one. She won't tell you who the affair partner is, probably to protect him, and she's still choosing him. But she has the gall to ask you to not divorce. She's still hiding details, and most likely those details are the physical aspect of the affair. I highly doubt they were just telling each other, I love you, so that there being physical cheating going on. You're absolutely right making a decision. I guarantee you. If I had to bet money, I would be betting money absolutely. If there was physical going on, definitely. Another one. Regarding the topic of not finding anyone after divorce, bullshit. I'm in my early 50s. I found another person to love and who loves me. And regarding the affair, don't try to pry. She will not give you any information that makes it any better. Maybe you will learn who the other man is. Maybe not. My bet is a co-worker or a friend of you of your both. Just prepare for this. Because with the divorce, they may become official, only to show you that they are right. Otherwise, uh, they would have destroyed the marriage over nothing. You, on the other hand, can walk head held high and find someone who's deserving of you. Well, he may... He may not. But at the end of the day, this guy needs to take a long vacation for himself. Go do some individual therapy if he thinks that's what's needed. Hang out with people that he can truly trust and care about him. His friends, his family, his bros. Focus on his grind, his purpose, whatever he wants to do in life, his hobbies. <clears throat> if he doesn't do so already, I highly recommend exercise. Whether it's hitting the gym and the weights or just going to martial arts or a boxing gym or something physical. Even just taking his dog for a walk a couple times a day. Anything to get out and stay moving. Don't, you know, wall away his misery in alcohol or junk food. And one day at a time, he's going to be okay, as these guys all are. So good for him. Kick her to the curb and not buying her BS.